It is time for you to play Warspear Online. This game is a top-down view MMORPG that tries to recreate the core essence of old-school titles by giving players the classic experience of having to explore manually an open-world setting with four different factions, each with unique classes to choose from. Here, you begin your journey by taking on minor quests and defeating low-level enemies, as you start progressing through the narrative on a long journey until you eventually reach the endgame. And the best way to enjoy this MMORPG fantasy world is of course to play on the PC with Plusex. So in today's video, we'll take a look on how to download and install this game and now of the many tools and features that comes playing with Plusex. To install Warspy Online on your PC, firstly, you need to head out to the Bluestacks official website to download and install the latest version. Now proceed to the installation process and once it's done, you can go to the Play Store to log into your Google account. Here you must provide your email address and then your password and proceed to agree with everything that shows up. And once you're done logging in, you'll be automatically brought to the Play Store where you can search for Warspy Online here on the search bar on the top. Now just click on install just like you would on your regular phone. And once installation is finished, the icon will pop up here on the home screen. Just click on it and you're all set to start playing. And now that we got the game up and running, let's take a look on all the many benefits of playing with Flusex. The key mapping tool allows you to play mobile games way easier on your PC. This feature allows you to map your keyboard and mouse to specific points of the screen so that you don't have to drag and click all over to perform any action. And the best part is that this is fully customizable, allowing you to add, remove or change any of the keyboard inputs to your liking. For Warspear Online, this is great because even though it doesn't have an analog movement system, playing on Bluestacks will still make it easier because you can accurately click on the tile you want to move to. This means you don't need to deal with the frustration of interacting with a wrong item or attacking unintentionally. So to access the key mapping tool, just click on this keyboard icon right here and then proceed to advanced options. And here you can pretty much customize everything. This feature basically allows you to open two, three or even more instances of Bluestacks at the same time. To hack, by having multiple smartphone devices available. And this is great for rerolling or have another game open on the side. For Warsp Online, this means you can leave running in the background some other idle game you need to maintain, while you're finishing some quests or clearing up some dungeons. So to access this feature, just click on this icon right here on the side panel and then proceed to create as many instances of Bluestacks as you like. The Macro tool is a feature that allows you to record a series of commands and replay them as you wish. This means you can create your automatic commands that you can reuse as many times as you want to skip all the tedious and repetitive tasks in a game. And an autoplay feature may not be something you want to hear when you are playing Warsp online, but some tasks can be too much of a hassle to complete manually. So if you decide to clear those chores without spending time doing random things repeatedly, you may want to try this feature out. So to access it, just click on this icon right here and then a new window will pop up. Now press start new recording and proceed to perform whatever action you want to save. And once you're done, just click stop right here on the top. Now, just assign a name and a key for it and with that you're all set. Press the key and watch your recorded action unfold. Warsp Online is a true love letter to all of the MMORPG fans out there. So it's really worth taking a look at, especially if you have some fond memories of playing some top-down games back when you were younger. So, if you have any questions about the installation process or any of the Bluestacks features I've presented on this video, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. But anyway, that is it for today's video, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!